Greetings, God's beloved. A reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1. As soon as they left the synagogue, the disciples entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. The Gospel of the Lord. A couple of months ago, I was not feeling well. I had muscle aches and chills and a slight fever, and I just felt awful. Just wanted to be in bed. But after a few days of watching movies and staying hydrated and getting plenty of rest, I felt better and got back to work. Not much changed. Now, no one wants to be sick, and I can't imagine what folks are going through who live with autoimmune disorders or other pre-existing conditions that make them vulnerable right now. This crisis we are facing, though, I think, will not leave us unchanged. Many of us are starting to see the world in new ways, building new habits and doing what we can to keep each other safe. Those who have lost loved ones will not be the same. And I have to believe that those who are sick and will recover may find new meaning or purpose or awareness in their lives. We don't know when this pandemic will be under control or how long it will last. I just wonder if we can even begin to see how we will be transformed by this suffering. For now, we have faith, and we trust that Jesus is with us, comforting uh, us in fear, providing for ones who are in need, and healing the world through the hands of those who show up to help and serve. Let's pray. God of grace, come to the aid of those who are sick. Bring peace for those who have lost loved ones and cast out the demons that haunt us. Awaken us to your presence and speak life and healing to us all. Through Jesus, our healer. Amen. Peace be with you.